Hello and welcome back to Panzer Corps Grand Campaign 39 and this time it's time to go for Warsaw and finish the Polish campaign. So let's switch right to the briefing. Greetings, Herr General. Please have a seat. We have much to discuss. Although much of Poland has fallen under German control, the capital of Warsaw stands defiant. Defiant but alone, due to due in no small part, part to your victories thus far. Even with the entrance of our Soviet allies into this war, the Polish government has refused to capitulate and so it rests on your shoulders to force them to their knees. Your objective is to occupy the city of Warsaw itself. The battle will undoubtedly be most difficult thus far will be your most difficult thus far, as the Polish capital is a sprawling metropolis that consists of multiple districts. The remnants of the Polish Air Force are based around Warsaw and the city itself has been heavily fortified. Although Warsaw has, cut, has been cut off from the north, west and south, there are still several avenues from the east where Polish reinforcements are still trickling into the capital. Intelligence reports that you may be able to turn this crisis into an opportunity. Reconnaissance units have reported a significant buildup of heavy Polish artillery being stockpiled in the cities of Mias, Stanislazov, Minsk, Matsowiecki and Gatka. These units are currently only lightly guarded by Polish sentries and are ripe for the taking. Should you choose to occupy the, these eastern cities and completely cut off Warsaw, High Command will gladly provide you additional gun crews to operate these guns to use them against the former owners. Good luck, Herr General. Both of our futures now rest in your hands. Wow, well, that's a lot of information and a lot of text. So, but very, very useful. Hi, Danny. Um, very useful uh, because yeah let, let's switch into the game and let's take a look here we know that we have to bring our fighters that's very important to know I would have done that anyways but now we have confirmation and let's try to get our bearings on this map Miasa Stanislavov, Minsk and Gatka. So those are the four cities we have to take and I'm getting attacked by ants here it seems. Don't know what they are doing in here but it's a little bit distracting <laughs> trying to crawl up my foot all the time. So problem solved. Yeah so we have auxiliary units in the north so yeah it's obvious their task will be to swing around and we can deploy strong forces to the south and if you take a look at the clustering of those units you can immediately see okay this battle group will try to swing around and grab this artillery pieces and one of the two or both of them can already attack into the city but I think it's important to yeah keep in mind some facts about city fighting and I absolutely like city fighting especially if I go in blind because the situation is very controlled um, you pretty much know what you're gonna face and what the enemy is going to do so there will be a lot of infantry in the air, but the infantry is not that important. You have to get it out of the way, but those are not the primary targets. Then there will be some quick units in there that will try to attack out of here and try to surprise you. That's always the case. And the key units are, well, anti-aircraft units and artillery units. Hi, Lieutenant Joker. And yeah, we have four airfields, so I fully expect them to be yeah, 
occupied by anti-aircraft units so we have to deal with them on the outskirts and then there will be yeah maybe one more anti-aircraft gun in the center or even two maybe one in the south one in the north and it's key to take them out those are the key units you have to get rid of because once a sector is clear you can send in your bombers disable the artillery and then you're good to go if you can't take out the anti-aircraft cannons you have to go for the artillery pieces directly but there's a risk involved because if they have three range artillery in there you're risking your own artillery and we have over strengths on them so that's costly so anti-aircraft cannons are our main focus moreover what's important yeah don't attack cities piecemeal uh, you you want to have a strong compact force really rolling over them and since we don't only have well we have four artillery pieces but we can only de deploy three of them um, it's not useful to if you take a look at the strategic map it's not useful to form two vectors of attack and go for the victory hexes from the outskirts because you don't have the firepower to suppress everything and claw your way through those trenches if you have not um, a dedicated force so i think it's best to ignore deploying um, deploying units in this spot so I think I will focus everything on the south because we have no support here it's it's useless for us to go in here with a few units that's absolutely not worth it so rather form a strong force in the south we will attack from this direction go over here and attack in here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those um, yeah, auxiliary units, they have to take out those two locations. And then I think I will try to support the attack. But yeah, I think it's best to roll over them from south to north. Yeah, because there's no other way to do it, basically. You don't have to be a strategic genius to figure that out. Uh, because those two forces whatever you deploy here they won't be strong enough to really do anything so yeah i think that's the plan and the tactical situation i have thought about that before but i didn't do the deployment before so let's see what we can do here regular replacements all the way we did take almost no losses last time so a lot of my units are nearing their experience max and the problem is we only can deploy 17 units so that's not a lot and I will consider bringing my 10th strength artillery just so that I have a unit that I can sand in in range of the three strength polish artillery because it doesn't hurt that much to well it doesn't hurt at all to get a hit on the 10th strength unit because we can always bring them back up for free and yeah experience is not a problem on artillery units yeah it's, if we take elite replacements for the flak we save three experience points and pay 17 prestige for it that's absolutely not worth it and the other units are fine and i've talked with lieutenant joker before um we will use the opportunity to bring in fresh tube troops in norway because it historically makes sense and so i'm not going to buy anything for warsaw and simply go in with the forces i have so enough talking let's do the deployment yeah key unit the pioneers i don't want to have them in the front because they are slower i will bring them up but all the deer is another key unit 
might be worth to deploy him to the south and really let him take out one of those guard units or sentry units. Um, I'm not sure if I want to take my Panzer twos because they are kind of maxed out. I want a unit that is able to scout. I want my scout to the south. I want one artillery in the south and two artilleries already going in on Warsaw. And I'm not sure how time pressed we will be. I will bring the level bomber just to support the attack. I want my 88 in the south also. And infantry. Infantry and basically all of my infantry. I think two are enough for this push. And there's one single target I want to attack. So I will bring one unit on this side and we can still deploy three units. So let's take a look. Those two tanks are the lowest in experience. So I will bring those two. One tank, hi Maxim. One tank to support and maybe one tank to support this attack. I'm not sure about the anti-tank unit. We have our 88 and I don't think we have more targets. Yes, one important thing, always expect strong points in cities. And they are key to gain information or vision superiority to take them out but it's not that important in poland i think because they always have cavalry so you gain not much by taking out those positions so do we want an anti-tank cannon a tank or an additional stuka for example um yeah and i'm reading in the chat lieutenant joker is saying yeah you can trade time for losses in this scenario and that's always the case in city fights i think but we have 20 turns and it's quite a big map and we have to do the swing around i guess because we have only three artillery pieces and we absolutely need those additional guns otherwise it won't happen so tank yeah maybe that the chat can assist chat uh tank should have deployed a tank a gun or the stuka i'm not sure i will review what i've done before we have i think this is strong enough to cross this is strong enough to already do some work on the outskirts, they will get support. We have additional planes up here. One more gun. The tank's not very useful, but at least it's quick. Yeah, and I'm not going to deploy my fourth artillery. Uh, let's stick to the historic plan. I'm discussing with Lieutenant Joker in, in, in the chat. Of course it would help. So the best thing... Um, the best thing to do would be to deploy the 4th artillery, of course. So, I don't think tanks are super useful here. 
But on the other hand, too many planes, we have already five. Yeah, I think I will deploy a plane. Just because it can provide critical scouting information and the fighter bomber can help shooting down enemy planes. Let's do it that way. Don't think it doesn't make a big difference. We'll see. Everything should be all right. Let's go into it and take Warsaw. Here we go. Yeah, and Danny is saying the Stuka will come in handy. Yeah, of course. But I decided to put down the fighter bomber because it has more vision range. I can do a little bit of preliminary scouting to the side and um, I yeah I, I don't have to guard it um, from enemy fighters so that's another important factor here so let's see yeah not a lot of information so let's start by scouting Always use the road with the scout. There's nothing in here. We could already try and take a look at our first. So these are the Polish sentry units. Let's take a look how strong they actually are. And they are quite strong actually. Five soft attack that's a lot comp compared um, that's a lot compared to the regular polish infantry but this way we can dash forward take out one of the targets already and like i said i won't bother going in for to water from the north and just keep out of vision range for the moment. So, nothing we can hit, but we can hit them right here. Taking them out or preventing them from digging in is always good. We can't hit anything. So, I want to stay out of vision range don't want to provide them any targets for the Air Force. At least not targets I can't control. Yeah, this tank, we could <clears throat> rail transport it or we can send it downwards to help attacking. I think Let's send them downwards and get in high gravity shadow and help them see a little bit. I don't expect any units to be around here, so I will risk going in directly. Yeah, it's only an anti tank cannon. Important thing is we took it out immediately. Um, so we are out of vision range here. One point of damage doesn't hurt too much. Then we have to think about the situation in the south. Let's see. Let's use our scout. Would be ideal to take them out immediately. So let's try and see if we can make it happen. I will move all the deer around already to get more information. 
and I won't move my scout because I want to take the city ideally. Polish infantry down, city taken, and vision control is established. That's all is good. Then I will send my fighter bomber to the side just to get the hit on this road and the city is empty so let's see there's a railway line but there will be a sentry in there so it's not exactly useful but we can send the truck to grab the target later I will advance all of my units. That leaves us with the situation around here. Um, yes, crazy vision range of four. So this will already reveal a lot of information. Yes, yeah, expected anti-aircraft cannons. And we should be out of vision range if we go forward. But I don't want to be too bold about that. I think the... I absolutely don't know how much pieces you can capture here. And there's always the risk of getting revealed by the enemy air force. So I think I will try to stay out of vision range completely. Let's see. But at the same time, I at least want to be able to position my artillery so that I can move up and hit them. This is a hill, so that's perfect opportunity for my GPX Eagles to go in. The 88 might be able to hit something. Yeah, the pioneers will have to wait for their turn to do something. That's a very careful approach, but I don't want to risk anything. Let's keep everything covered. And let's stay out of range of this gun. And maybe we can even trap something around here. But all my tracks now are covered. That should be fine. So first turn complete. I think we are... We have a very controlled and safe approach. At the same time, we are reasonably quick. So I'm, I'm happy how that went and the information we gathered was fine too. So let's end the turn. And it's raining. That's bad luck indeed. Because now we don't see anything. But we can use this to our advantage. Let's think. They don't see anything now as well and we can absolutely trap the hell out of them. And the good thing we already did a lot of scouting because now we can safely go in. And we can use this to totally scout with the planes because they will be safe. Um, yeah, we will absolutely use this to our advantage. So let's see, let's see. I will think about that. We know there's a sentry in there. No way to trap it, unfortunately. But we can use this opportunity to
go forward, use the maximum range of our units. And maybe even set up the artillery in a south location uh, because then we are already in position to hit the other targets as well. And I'm only doing this because it's raining. And it's a pity you can't control where your units are going. It's really stupid to try and go through here. Because I would love to have it already down. Um, let's do it like that. Move around. And no use attacking. The rain caps your initiative, so that's not very useful. We will keep the plane here. We can bombard, retreat and bombard again. So that's helpful. We will send the tank to the south. And now it gets complicated. We don't have scouting information. I don't know if anything is in there. So let's assume there is. But this is one of the target cities. So I will swing all of the around, take the rail bridge. And we already know it's clear because we scouted out last time. And then we will try to hit something. So This is a river position, we can do maximum damage if it clears up next turn and we will get a lot of info and I don't suspect there will be anti-aircraft cannons directly beneath us. Same here. Let's say we want more information on this side of that was not very smart. And I'm not sure if the enemy if the enemy is going uh, most likely that their planes will stay put here. So maybe we can already surround them. And Yeah, I'm not sure where to send it. This will produce the most overlap in vision and we can rid, hit a river hex. So that's a good thing. Then let's see. Yeah, now it hurts us a little bit that I didn't move forward a little bit more aggressive because now I can't trap them and I don't want to move outside of the range of my protecting artillery. But they won't be able to see us so I can safely Establish my 88, get some pot shots in here, bring down the tanks just to form a defensive perimeter, and yeah, we should be fine here and can already hit them this way just to knock them down a little bit. And it's empty indeed. Good news. And 
This will help us to set up our artillery for next turn. So that's it. And we are limited with our fuel, so we'll stay right here just to be able to double bombard here. That's it, let's end the turn and see what they are going to do. Most likely nothing because they can't see anything. Yeah, that's it. So, perfect opportunity for 88 to do. Well, where's the plane? <laughs> where's the fighter? Here we go. One fighter. And we managed to position our plane on a, on a spot where there's absolutely nothing. But some planes are missing. Maybe there's a second fighter, but at least we can shoot down the bomber. And since most likely there's an anti-aircraft cannon, we will have to trap this fighter next turn. We will have to think about something. But for now... Wow! Disappointing hit with the 88. So I know what we are going to do with our fighters. But those are perfect trap opportunities because the artillery is still out of vision range. And we can get in some shots. Do some damage. And I will slowly advance here. So... Yeah, we can go in next turn. Bring one of the tanks around to cover our flank. And position our infantry so that we are able to do something next turn. Maybe it's too slow, but I don't want to risk a lot. So anti-aircraft cannons, non left. And we might be able to, well, where's my fighter bomber? We might be able to keep, yeah, we are now able to keep one of the fighters for fighter trap duty. So this will be crucial to set that up. They won't attack any of those units. Uh, sorry, I have to switch a little bit because first I want to deal with the situation in the north. Shoot. Shoot. And hopefully eliminate the first sentry unit. That's done. Grab it. Getting scouting information. There's nothing in here. So it should be safe to go in. Because we are out of vision range and set up for the attack already. So in the north it's going fine. Yeah, we have to position our artillery. Let's do it like that. One 
movement. Internet is already a little bit unstable again, but it seems it fixed itself. So that's done. And by the way, next time my internet connection hopefully will be better. Because I'm upgrading. Yeah, I'm a little bit distracting watching the the indicator of the internet connection and at the same time trying to do something, trying to think of something to say. But for now, my priority is to grab the artillery pieces and for that to happen. Yeah, it will take one more turn to, to take them out, but that's not a huge problem. And I don't think I need that much infantry. All the deer can do it on his own. So let's grab the airfield. And I don't think I need the tank either. But since we already have him let's take a look we should be still out of vision range let's check vision range of three that's fine we can take out those um, auxiliary we will grab our auxiliary artillery units pretty soon i think so now the tricky part setting up the fighter trap let's see what's attempting target those are already guarded those are guarded so that at the moment they don't see anything that's very tempting but if i position my panzer one here it will get sniped by one of the seven tps i think one two three four five yeah so that's not ideal as well um Yeah, most likely they will try to attack somewhere around here. So maybe we can take, build up a secondary fighter trap. Like so, if the bomber goes in here, it will reveal here, I have a fighter yeah let's try it and let's oh damn it now this tank is toast but it doesn't matter too much the only problem is it will distract the fighters so no more no fighter traps all the elaborate setup for nothing <laughs> yeah that's it but nothing else to do. Let's end the turn. Ah, it worked. And there are two fighters. Three fighters. Secondary trap worked. I'm a genius. We have this tankette where we want it. Brilliant moves, I think. Um, yeah. Three fighters, that's a lot. But we can shoot them down, no problem. So let's start in the north. That's always, that's a little bit easier. So, next target. Since we already have the airfield, we can try to make something happen here. 
with mass attack bonus, maybe we are able to overwhelm them. Yeah, that's worth it. That was not worth it. But I don't want to waste too much time. Then... Yeah, now I'm lacking one unit to go in here. Can I really transport something? No, not really. So we'll send back the scout. Move all the deer up. Next turn we should be able to take them out all the deer. Doesn't need mass attack bonus really. So I think the tank is fine. And then let's deal with the situation of the enemy air force. Yeah, maybe we can take out one of the fighters with one swoop. Nope, we can't. But we can all this use our uh, fighter bomber. Provide mass attack bonus for both of them. Hopefully, shoot down one. Perfect. Shoot down another one. And then we'll gang up on this fighter. We still have one plane ready, and I will keep out of range of this piece. So we didn't get it, but that's not uh, that's not a big deal. We can follow him and destroy him, but we almost managed to to kill them off in one turn. And now we have a lot of information in here. No more planes? Yeah, we have one more plane, but we can't bombard the tankette. But we know there is no anti-aircraft cannons around here. So we will use it to soften up the defenders. And at the same time reload or refill. We'll force it on the hill. Ah, not necessary. Then I want my pioneers in. But I'm not used to infantry that's only moving two. So let's not be too smart. Let's just... Move in. Defend ourselves to the north. take out the first enemy units. One down. We'll move the 88 into position. We'll move additional artillery into position. It would be so nice to have a third artillery here. Before we do have that, it's really tricky. And they can't move up artillery, so we are safe. Don't want to get anything um, suppressed again. So this tank most likely is going to swing down. Maybe. I don't know if it's a wise idea to try and trap him, ambush him, but at least he will waste his shot on the Panzer 1. 
So not worth attacking here. Not worth going in here at the moment. So let's grab ammo. Yeah, the Panzer 2 has nothing to do. And he's not useful here at the moment. So let's move him. So we can immediately have a unit ready to go in. And here's our first artillery. That's great news. Move it down. Yeah, that's fine. Let's end the turn. Perfect. At least. Ah, and rain again. I wanted to bomb this GP. But at least in the rain, we can trap them again. But the rain is absolutely annoying. Um, the rain is absolutely annoying because it caps our initiative bonus. And yeah. Not being able to attack without taking losses is a big deal. He will be forced out of here, so that's not an issue. But we might be able to force a surrender. No, because we can't go around. Yeah. The rain is painful. That's better. And they can't see us, so it's perfectly fine to set up the artillery that way. And all the deer, even all the deer can can do a whole lot. But at least we can try to trap them and now we definitely don't need this tank here anymore. Um, we'll move it up a little bit just to have a unit that can protect us a little bit. So that's it. We have another unit. So you are definitely going to support our attack on this flank. Then let's see, do we remember anything? Somewhere there was artillery. I want, definitely want to hit that. I want to resupply. I want to know where this enemy fighter went. And I want to level bomb here. So that's it. Then we will focus the artillery. Maybe Yeah, that's tricky But I think it's fine to move up without artillery support at the moment We 
will take out the fortress next turn. Move back and this tank is a little bit problematic. And now I'm blocking myself a little bit. So let's do it that way. We might trap him. Yeah. We might provoke some counter attacks here. But we can't do too much in the rain. That's an absolute issue. This can turn out to be a disaster if we attack in here. The rolls can absolutely screw you. On the other hand, I don't want to lose too much time. Yeah, let's stay and hope for better weather next turn. That's done. Let's end the turn. No, mud and rain. That's horrible. And now we are absolutely running out of time. So. No more waiting and see uh, it's. Yeah. Mud is the worst case. Now we can't even move up our artillery. Oh god. So, let's see. Yeah, I still want to wait for next turn to go in here because I can't take them out anyways. And maybe they want to try something. Our planes still have enough fuel, so that's not an issue. We keep them as is. At least try to force them out of here. But we're not even able to reach them, so City. And now we will try to rush into position. Which is pretty difficult in all this mud. So you Stay where you are. We can 
try to start shooting. Do we think? Here you are. So with a little bit of luck we are able to shoot him down next turn. Other than that I think we are fine. Yeah. That's it. I think there was an artillery piece right here. Yeah, let's end the turn. Wow. Yeah, the rain is absolutely terrible for for the German troops. Um yeah, <laughs> nothing we can do about that. So let's at least take out the enemy air force. That's something the Germans are good at. So that's done. I still have to move them, but now we are hopefully gaining the upper hand. Hopefully finish off the 70p. Forcing him back a little bit so I can hit him with another plane. That's done. And yeah, then let's see. Almost completely suppressed, so we can move in our 88. Press the defending artillery. Almost done, so we have another level bomber somewhere. Here we go. Well, and the arts have not really improved. But now the additional artillery will work wonders, I hope. So you are a little bit at risk of dying, so we will pull him out of here. Give the 88 something to do. Finish it off. That's done. Waiting for artillery support to attack here. We'll slowly move up. Hopefully, trigger a counter attack. And I think I still want one gun more to the south. And that way everything should be kind of safe. We are out of vision range here. Move up. Bring back our fighters for refueling. In the north there's nothing left. 
and planes. I think I moved all of them. You can go to sleep. And that's it. Let's end the turn. Nothing happened. So we are one hour into the video. So I think I will make a first break. Um, but the situation now is starting to stabilize. We have another gun ready. Um, a lot of targets still to take. It won't be easy. But once this anti-aircraft cannon is gone, I think they are screwed. This one will be easily removed. Those two don't bother us. And I didn't spot any other gun. And there's a big artillery piece here, so this will be a priority target as well. Yeah, I think we still can do it, but it will be close. Especially taking the northern targets, but we have, we pretty much lost two turns in the rain already. We had three turns of rain. The first one didn't hurt us, but yeah, the second two turns were not ideal. So, no more complaining. I think we can still do it. Well, and the problem with mud, it, it prevents you from setting up your artillery. So you're not only losing a turn where you can attack, but you are also losing a turn where you can set up your pieces. But enough of that. See you in a few minutes. And until then, yeah, let's hope the sun shines for the German forces. Bye.